What is up everybody and welcome to this week's episode of the beginner's guide to Ark Survival Evolved. How to get started on the island where we are going to be showing you the top 10 base locations for PvE Ark on the island in my opinion of course and when i'm looking for a base location on any map there are four things that i am looking for number one has to be proximity to resources number two would probably be protection from the environment or safety from the environment including the weather but also predatory dinosaurs and then the other two things are going to be a nice big flat area of land to make building as easy as possible and last but not least is the aesthetics and the beauty of the area. I'm a big sucker for aesthetically pleasing base locations. So without further ado, we are going to head on out to our first location. Now, as I said, this is very much my opinion. I'll be very keen to see in the comments if you have any other favorite locations that we don't cover today. And bear in mind from a PvP perspective, you're going to probably be wanting base locations that offer you um, better defense than the ones we're going to be doing today. And as you can see, this is our first location. This is known as Weathertop. And we are here on the map and at these coordinates here. So we're at 74, 34 approximately. This is probably the closest of my base locations today to our starting area on South Beach. And the main reason I've chosen it in my top 10 is because it is very large and very flat, as you can see. Perfect for building a large base if that is what you want to do. There are also very few large predators here. You do occasionally get a Therizinosaurus, but mainly it's going to be raptors and diplos, but you can easily block those out by building some stone walls. In terms of proximity to resources, the nearest batch of kind of rare resources, if you like, or valuable resources, is going to be on the Redwoods Mountain, which is uh, just north of this location in that kind of big island in the middle there. Uh, well, you don't actually get obsidian over there, so if you do want obsidian, you're going to have to travel a little bit further, probably to the volcano. So do bear that in mind. You've got crystal and metal up there, but you're going to have to go further afield for everything else. But overall, I think it is a pretty neat location, and it offers uh, a pretty, uh, a pretty kind of awesome view of the surrounding area as well. So let's head on to the next location. And this is number two on the list, in no particular order, the Redwoods Forest, and in particular, the Redwoods Lake. We are here on the map, and at these coordinates, we are at 62.34 here, so we're kind of getting towards the middle of the map more, which is a, an advantage in itself, because you're going to be central, you're going to be able to access all areas of the map more quickly. But I think the main thing for me is that it's just really beautiful, as you can see. Um, now, if you want to, you can build in the middle here. You can build on these more flat areas around the side and wall it off. You've even got these giant redwood trees here that you can place tree platforms on and build yourself a treehouse base. And not only that, we've got some ruins here just down the way, which look really cool. And not only is it a really beautiful location, but it's also pretty resource rich in that you've got the volcano just ahead here and there you will find an abundance of metal, obsidian and crystal. And then to the left and down the river, you're going to find a bunch of beavers and beavers mean beaver dams, beaver dams mean cementing paste. So just in this section of the river straight ahead here, you will find those. And not only that, but this location is on the doorstep of the Swamp Cave, where eventually you will find the artifact of the Immune, and you will be able to farm this cave for valuable cave loot crates. Now, if you're just starting out, you might not be at that stage just yet, but this would be a base, a great base location to plan for further down the line in game. Now, a few things to worry about in this area, in particular, is safety from predatory dinos. As you can see, we've got, I, th I think the terror birds down there, but you'll get terror birds, you'll get raptors, you'll get carnos, and probably most annoying of all are the thylacolio, which are giant cats that will sit in 
in redwood trees and they will pounce on you and pin you to the ground and they will even knock you off your flyers so just be very careful if you do build here when you're flying in and out of your base but next on the list let's head on over to our third location and this is number three on the base location list. We are at the west coast of the map and it is a really, really pretty area. This is where we're at. Coordinates are 47, 18. And really the main reason that I've picked this area is because it is really cool looking and I will show you why just now. We have two waterfalls. We've got this one here which leads down to a nice medium sized flat area that you can get creative with. And then we've got the second waterfall which runs down here into the ocean and you could pen an area off here to keep and to breed your water dinos including the larger dinos like the Tuso and the Mosa they're going to fit in here too so that is a really good kind of practical point to this base location here. Now in terms of your resources you've got the snow biome that is just a stone's throw away. We've got far peaks over there in the distance and you will find your metal, crystal and obsidian there as well as the blue obelisk so when you're ready to do boss fights you're in close proximity to that. In terms of other resources we've got the iceberg straight ahead and you can see there's a bunch of oil rich rocks over there not only that but around the corner you will also find a bunch of penguins that you can farm organic polymer from so really quite a lot of good resources really close by not only that we've got this little area here which may be seen as a curse or a blessing depending on how you look at it but over here We've got an Alpha Carno that you can see. You often get Alpha Dinos spawning in this area, including Alpha Rexes, and those can be farmed for XP for yourself and for your Dinos, and also for their prime meat and their loot as well. You'll see a bunch of Allosaurus and Argentavis over there. You do get a lot of carnivorous Dinos in this area, so do watch out, but perfect if you want to tame them. So yeah, all in all, this, this whole kind of chunk of West Coast is really cool to build on. Personally, I like the area with the waterfall. But yeah, this is location number four on the list. And we are at Fars Peak Iceberg, which can be found here. And at 3010 of the coordinates just there. Now, this is a very unique base location. It is very aesthetically pleasing, as you can see. I mean, who doesn't want to live on an iceberg, right? But that does come with its downsides. You are going to need to make yourself some fur armor in order to live here. And you're also going to want to pump some points into your character's fortitude and consider crafting up some air conditioning units in order to regulate the temperature of your base. But once you get past that, you will see all of the oil rocks in the area. So you can farm those for your oil. We've also got Fars Peak itself over there. So that is rich in metal, crystal and obsidian. Not only that, you've got your penguins on those icebergs in the distance. You can farm those for organic polymer. And something else to note is that dotting the floating bits of ice in this area, you're going to find silica pearls, which are another valuable resource. So you can go and farm those up too. Now, this area here is also fantastic for a couple of other reasons. Mainly the fact that no kind of reverse dinos spawn on it so you're reasonably safe you just need to watch out for the pesky seagulls as usual and then if you would like to tame up and keep and breed some water dinos you've got these two little pools over here which i'm going to very slowly walk to because i've stupidly run out of stamina classic arc mistake here we go yeah you've got these pools of water which actually connect to the ocean so you can build some walls and some gates and pen your water dinos in here so all in all, this is a really cool location, but I wouldn't recommend coming here unless you are going to be prepared for the cold. And we've got location number five here, which is known as the Moor, and it can be found here on the map and at 3850. Now it's reasonably central, which is great because it means you can get anywhere on the map within reasonable ease. So that is one good thing about it. Another fantastic thing about it 
is that it is a very large flat area so you can get super creative with large bases here and this is a really popular base location with a lot of other content creators that I've seen too. I think one of the main things that it's got going for it as well is the fact that you are right in the middle of uh, three big peaks here. We've got the white fang, the, the uh, white tooth over there and the volcano where we can find metal, crystal and obsidian. A bad thing about the location, well it could be a bad thing, it could be a good thing depending on how you look at it, but we do have a lot of predatory dinos here, there's a lot of smaller predators, a lot of Argentavis which is just over there and we even get rexes and sometimes gigas here so it means you are going to want to build some tall stone walls to keep them all out but if you are farming to tame these dinos then it is the perfect area so it really all depends on how you look at it now this is probably not the best area to collect some stamina but we're gonna have to risk it another really cool thing about this area is down the line when you are ready to start caving you will find the cave containing the artifact of the clever just over the hill here and this is one of the easier caves to do on the map so you can also farm some pretty good loot crates here as well so yeah if you're thinking about a good base location close to resources lots of flat area uh, somewhere to prepare yourself for kind of mid to end game this might be a really good choice and here is number six on the list. This is Smuggler's Cove, which consists of two outcroppings of rock. And it can be found here at the convergence of three rivers at coordinates 41.67. Now, I have actually built on this base, base location when I played the archive season one. And I built on this little uh, platform here, this little rock. I built a bit of a castle. But something cool that you can do is you can build on here and then you could build an elevator going down to this level here and you can put your dinos, put them in a pen and store them here ready to go out and farm. We've got a lot of wood in the form of the jungle just here but I think one of the best features is this rock which is abundant in metal, at least if you're playing solo. It's also got an explorer note so if you are playing solo you, you could choose to build here if you want. I mean there's plenty of metal to be found on any of these mountains that you see in the area. Of course, Crystal and Obsidian are here as well. But if you are playing on a server, on a PvE server, you might want to steer clear of this particular rock because you want to make sure that other players have access to the Explorer note just there. But um, yeah, this is great. This is a really great location. It's really kind of geographically interesting and beautiful. But we've got a lot of resources, as you can see. We've also got beaver dams there just to, towards the redwoods in that direction, which means cementing paste. There are usually beaver dams a little bit further upstream as well. And we've, we've got a bunch of kind of rexes and fairies and things, usually at reasonably high levels spawning in this area. So if you want to farm yourself some of those dinos, you can build a trap and lure them in really easily just down here. This has to be one of my favourite base locations, I think. And just to top it all off, you're pretty safe up here. I mean, nothing can really get you. Occasionally on the metal outcropping, you do get dillos and raptors spawning, but you can easily block those spawns by popping down foundations and things like that. But on this outcropping, you don't get anything spawning at all. So you're pretty safe. Something to bear in mind, which would be a negative, is that it can get pretty hot in this part of the map, in the jungle. So make sure that you've got yourself some ghillie armor and even consider pumping some points into your fortitude for your character or putting down some air conditioning units to regulate the temperature of your base. But yeah, let's move on to the next location. Number six on the list is the Hidden Lake, another favourite spot on the island, which could be found here. Coordinates are 2269, and this is a very beautiful location. As you can see in the centre, we've got this, this lake, which is full of beavers and therefore beaver dams, which means cementing paste. It's got an abundance of flat land all the way around, including these little plateaus, so really easy to build on. And if you really want to kind of block it off, you've just got a few areas here that you can put some gates in. But from a PvE perspective, you don't really need to do that. The more structures and foundations you place in an area, uh, the more you're going to be able to block the spawns of dinos, 
which is a good and a bad thing because in this case we do have raptors spawning we have therizino spawning which can be aggressive so you're going to want to block those but you might want to avoid building too close to the middle of the lake so that you still get the beaver spawning in and you can take advantage of that cementing paste now in terms of other resources in the area you are still pretty close to the surrounding mountains for your metal your crystal and your obsidian uh, which we can kind of see uh, just over here. So just a stone's throw away. And we've also got Kano Island in the distance there as well, uh, which is a really great place to farm Rexes, to farm Alpha Dinos as well. And there's also a little artifact cave there as well. So um, all in all, I think this is one of my favorite locations. And it's certainly popular with the community. I think we've got an Explorer note over here as well. Um, let me have a little look. Yeah, there we go. Explore a note there. So you might want to keep this uh, this point clear for other players to be able to grab if you're playing on a server. And we are at location number eight at the green obelisk, which we can see just there. We're here on the map and we are at 5670 for the coordinates. And the reason why I have picked this one is for, for two reasons mainly. And, and that's because of its proximity to the obelisk, which is a really handy thing, especially in later game when you are ready to take on the bosses because it will be at the obelisks that you will need to summon the bosses and transport yourself and your army into the boss arena. So as you can see, it is really just at your doorstep right here. Now you can build on this area here, but you can also build down here by the river which offers a decent amount of flat space that's the second reason for me really now we do have the swamp over here so you're going to want to be careful because you do get spino spawning down here nothing that some tall walls and gates wouldn't block out however i think the worst thing really to spawn here is probably uh the theory which we see over there again just put some uh, foundations down, put some walls down, and you'll be able to uh, secure your base. Just make sure they are of stone quality of higher so that they don't get damaged. In terms of proximity of resources, you will have to travel a little bit further than some of the other locations, but not far. We've got a little bit of crystal and metal available on this small mountain peak straight ahead. And then we've got the Redwood Mountain, which is now uh, at my 12 o'clock which is probably your closest bet for metal and crystal. But if you want anything else, you are going to have to travel a little bit further afield. Another cool thing is the waterfall. I'm, I'm a big sucker for, for pretty things in bases. We know this now. And waterfalls are pretty cool. That's here. And in this area and all the way downstream towards the sea, we have an abundance of carnivorous dinos of all shapes and sizes and alpha dinos spawning in. So they present great farming opportunities for tames and for experience as well. So all in all, this is a pretty uh, popular location. I've actually built here myself when I first started playing Ark on the island. So this has made the top 10 today. Location number nine on the list is the Southern Islets, which we can see here consisting of many rock formations. It is one of the more striking base locations on the list today, and it can be found here on the map at 8755. Now we've made it all the way down the south of the map now. And as you can see, we have all of these structures that you can use to build probably the most extraordinary base, if you so choose. I think this is the, the main rock that people choose to build because it's the largest with the kind of flattest area. But it's perfectly possible with a series of pillars and things to connect a base all across these different rocks. And you can also use cliff platforms here to make it look really cool and to add some extra space. One of the cool features of this is this little pool that is deep enough to be able to store and breed water dinos, including the larger ones. There is unfortunately a bit of a missed opportunity though, because this little channel here is too shallow to lead the dinos out to the ocean. If you're gonna store them in here, you would need to use cryopods in order to get them in and out. But in terms of its proximity to resources, now this is quite far away from a lot of the resource rich areas of the map, specifically the mountains in the distance. So that is definitely a disadvantage of being here. Your closest sources of metal would be uh, some of the peaks, if I open my map, uh, some of the peaks, including the Redwood Peak in the center of the map and some of the Southern Peaks, which are here and here. 
However, we are close to a bunch of beavers, probably the most populated uh, area for beavers on the map. Uh, you sometimes get them in this area here and also all the way through here. Typical that I don't see many. Ah, oh, no, there we go. There's one. <laughs> there's one. But usually there's an abundance of them here. You, you can actually see some of their dams spawning under here. So lots of cementing paste to be had. If you really wanted to as well, and the southern islets, you've got this little island here, which provides a nice kind of flat area to build upon. So this is another uh, super popular base location on the island, which is going to lead us to our very last, but not least, base location of the day. Number 10 on the list, quite possibly my favourite location for PvE base building on the island is Herbivore Island. And to get here, you will need to go right to the southeastern corner of the map. And you will need to go to 83, 83 for your coordinates. Now, as the name suggests, this island only spawns herbivores. So it's great. As long as you don't aggro too much, you're going to be perfectly safe and there are so many things about this island which make it fantastic for pve base building you've got this flat cove in here which is perfect for building your main base or perhaps you could just wall off this section here and use it as a pen for your dinos one of its best features is this cove which is really easy to fence off from this point to this point and in here you can store and breed all of your water dinos including the larger ones this island has a bunch of metal nodes on it as well you might have to kind of hack your way through some of these rocks to find them there we go there's one just there so a really easy way to get some early game metal as you progress through the game you're going to need more and more metal and you will need to venture out to probably the mountains to be able to get a lot of it at once i would honestly say that's probably the only negative thing in my opinion about living here um apart from that it's wonderful you have obviously close proximity to the ocean and also the resources that the ocean has to offer there are a bunch of um oil rich rocks um just kind of off the coast here you can obviously do a bunch of water taming you can easily tame a bunch of herbivores on this uh this, this location as well uh, there is an explorer note to watch out for which is just over here make sure if you're playing on a server uh, you leave that kind of clear uh, for other people to be able to farm it's kind of nesting in here somewhere amongst all the trees and things um i i, th I guess another kind of slightly negative thing is that it's so far away from a lot on the map because it's so far in the bottom corner but for me i personally don't mind that i like to build in a location that's beautiful and secluded anyway which it absolutely 100 percent is um, just be aware if you're trying to reach this location you see this big dino here called a lead sickness this big dino here will eat your raft so if you try to attempt to get here by raft and you encounter one of these which is exceedingly likely uh, it's going to be bad news for you so i would recommend only getting here once you have tamed yourself a flyer that would 100 percent be the safest way to get here don't try and swim it as well uh, you will get eaten by sharks it is inevitable <laughs> but yeah that is pretty much it now Again, all of these base locations are down to my opinion. They've been in no particular order of best to worst. I'd be really interested to see in the comments or hear in the comments if you think I've missed any awesome base locations on the island. And well, I, I, I want you guys to actually pick for me. I would love for you to pick me one of the locations today that we are going to build on. I know which one I would pick, but I mean, I've already built on here, so maybe it's time to to try somewhere new i i think my second ever island base i built on herbie island so please let me know in the comments which of the locations today you think we should build our base on and then next episode we are going to be taming our top five beginner farming dinos so that we can start actually building a heckin base somewhere on this map so thank you very much for watching today don't forget to like and subscribe if you liked the content and if you want to catch me in the meantime you will see me over on twitch monday tuesday thursday friday at 2 p.m gmt the clocks do indeed go back this week i must remember that 
But until then, folks, thank you so much for watching. Over and out. See you next time.